We are duty bound to uphold and fulfill Special Operation 217. Recommend we locate Anderson's wrist mounted device before proceeding. Let's see. BT-7274 mission auto transcription. Nil SRS command eyes only up 217. Situation. Massive energy blast detected on Typhon. IMC Aris Divcoms intercept. Unidentified archaeological discovery. Mission. Infiltrate Typhon facility. Gather intel. Discover source of energy blast. Report to Commander Sarah Briggs. Remarks. Use of op grizzly wrist device advised. Do not go alone. Okie dokie. I didn't see any device on Anderson. It must be on the other half of his corpse. No, that's not gonna be fun. I detect a breach in the security services building. I will provide access. What do you mean by that? I will remain here and scan the ring structure while you investigate the facility for intel and the missing device. Oh man, let's see your uh, javelin throw. Oh man, look at him! There's gotta be an easier way, BT. I will work on it. <laughs> okay, well thanks. I didn't realize we could ride these up, but I guess we got those boosters on our back, so why the heck not? Whee! Uh, lots of satchels in here. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is like a remote detonation thing. Yuki dokie. Booyakasha! Oh no! No, not again! Uh, hang the fu- uh, oh. I was like, oh crap, are they coming for me? <laughs> okay, let's see, what is this? Uh, SMG. Okay, that's good. What the? This one's still active. Oh, can't hack him. Oh, in fact, he... He does a crazy amount of damage. Okay, do not hack these. We learned something. Oh, God. What? Wait, now what? Ha what the? What just happened? Well, now that guy just that just took a million points of damage from somewhere. Okay, so I just made them go critical somehow. And they have a huge blast area apparently. Oh wow. What the Wow, I don't... Wow. I, I guess I have to wait for this damn door to open, but... Uh... Oh my god, there's a lot of you. Enjoy! Yeah, I think the game wants me to come in here rather than... Party on in there. It's something about explosions in this game. They have a way larger blast radius than I was counting on. Uh, Mastiff? Auto loading shotgun with what? No! Yeah, yeah, I guess I should use a fucking cloak, shouldn't I? Mm, it's a vertigo. I mean, I guess they do have to hit super hard, because all these guys can do is melee, so... Zoop. Okay, now... Oh. Now we're... That weren't this time? Huh? This is this is a really creepy level. Altogether this whole thing has been really creepy. Tyler and Wildlife 
research said two teams were taken out of the elevator banks in a matter of seconds by one guy. Creepy. I hope we don't have to run into this dude. I sure hope. Oh god, here we go. Ugh. Okie dokie. Flatline. Flatline's good. Just straight up full auto. What was the letter gun here? Mastiff. Oh, I got the Mastiff already. I think we are actually traveling in time. We're not just seeing visions now. I think that's what they're implying right now. That was weird. That was a weird level. I mean, it was cool, but it was weird. Hmm. Oh, I read that already. That was the logbook thing we got. Oh, there's the other half of his body. I see. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Why the load there? We're basically in the same area of the game. Oh, well. Sorry, Anderson. I'm not... Dead. Oh, oh. All right then. Oh my God. Press C to time. Tri you gotta be kidding me. It's the freaking. It's that thing from uh, Dishonored Two that lets you travel between time. Although I actually did this one come out before Dishonored Two. They came out the same year, I think. So who was? Who came first with that? This is nuts, though, that this is in the game. Like, on top of everything else, now we're time travel, to, like switching between times. Yeah, that'll really help, of course. Forgot the whole reason why I time traveled. <laughs> Good work on that window there. Keep it up. What kind of super magic technology are we using where not only can we travel through time, but now you can freaking talk, you can radio me across time? What are they doing in this place? All this alien stuff. Let's box him in. Uh oh, I hope I don't teleport right in the middle of a laser. Ah, uh, that is a big blast. I see now. Okay. Um, wait, how do I get through? Oh. Cool. Oh, this this would be terrible to fight a person like this. Yeah. Just a guy who just uh, disappears and then he's completely elsewhere. Oh, no, you don't. Wow, sliding punch. Oh, hello. What, what was that? That was weird. Uh. Oh, there's a guy over here. Why didn't I notice him? Silly guy. Well, they were... Putting quite a few bullets my way, weren't they? Well, what do we have here? RE45 auto. What the? No. 45 full cal auto pistol? Nah. Shotgun will do. Uh, okay. That was. Oh my god, now we're parkouring and warping through time while we're parkouring. Oh boy. That's not gonna get the. That's not going to get confusing at all. What's a hemlock? Oh, burst fire assault rifle. Nah, nah. 
Although, I could guess I could take it for the flat line. Oh, can't beat those turrets. That's fine. Yeah, this is crazy. We are... We're infiltrating this place while traveling through time. And now there's weird time blips. Oh god, he's gonna blow up. So we'll just uh, do that. Uh, What the? I don't even have that pistol. Oh, there's a lot of guys. There's a fat guy here as well. Well, this time is safe. No, it's not. God damn, this is a tough level. There's a million guys there and there's some a bevy of monsters in that time. Oh, I think if you hit that backpack on them, they, that causes a chain reaction. They have that glowy backpack on them. I think that's what's causing them to explode so dramatically. Now, well, let's hang out in this time for just a second. Uh, silly guy, I ran circles around him. And now let's go back in time, and now there's gonna be these freaking monsters. Okay. Wow, that was a, some poor shooting on my part. <laughs> right here! Oh, frag grenades, that's the wrong... Why did I get frag grenades? Oh well. Man, I don't like these guys at all. Ugh. Uh huh. Oh God. Wow, this poor guy. He didn't. He was frozen by fear. Apparently, he didn't know what to expect. Oh. Well, I guess we'll do some recon at this point in time. Sorry, critters. I. Uh, I'm not down for lunch with you guys. Boy. Wow, that sort of kind of worked. This will do. Why are you guys shooting at a bulletproof window? Typhon dig site 42N. Pilot, a fragment of Anderson's damaged log may be relevant here. Activating log playback. Anderson log 341. Ooh. The IMC found something all right. It can fold space and time. It sure as hell didn't build it, but they're restoring it. It's alien? Whatever they're planning, it's potentially catastrophic. Well, I guess there are, like, animal aliens, but, like, sapient aliens? Why not, I guess, but, uh... Ark Discovery. Oh! Excuse me, I'm trying to look at this... This uh, Ark, I guess? This doohickey? Yeah, let's get some satchels. Those were a fun weapon type. Well, the model's still here. That's nice. Wow. This this game is way crazier than I thought. Like, also, he's like, they found a device. It folds space and time. But he already seemed to have the freaking glove that has that power, unless the power did not work on till he made contact with this thing oh we're going back this way i see excuse me there's the arc's power now we may never have another chance oh 
Oh, that would be bad if the IMC has time travel powers. Uh, I don't think I want that to happen at all. Speed fire! Whoop. Dang! I almost got it. Gotcha! There we go. Ooh! Thought I was almost on the freaking lasers there. I've got visuals on you, but you can't shoot me through this bulletproof window. Thing. Oh, I see what I have to do. And now we cannot go back in time, because we will get cooked if we do that. Oh, well, that's good AI. That guy was, like, protecting his, uh, buddy there. Didn't really protect from that, but what are you gonna do? See, like, his shield dude was, like, covering his buddy there. Okay, this room? I guess we can hang out in this room. What do you find in here? A full weapons power source is called... They got all these lovely like they perfected the casing. colored balls. Hmm. This one's empty. The arc must be somewhere else. Anderson out. Ooh, what is this? MGL? Ooh, grenade launcher. Oh, neat. Magnetic grenade? That sounds mysterious. Oh, that must be where the Ark is on, on that one, I, I guess? I don't know. I thought the Ark was that weird doohickey thing. But it wasn't. The, the weird circular thing that's broken outside, but I guess that's not true. Ooh, that's a, that's a rapid... Oh, it, I think it shoots two at once, because I was like, that's a rapid rate of fire for a grenade launcher. Also, these guys seem to be equipped with those, so... Guess what? We get lots of grenades. Oh god. Oh god. That... That was me flubbing the whole situation. Something fierce. I can't... I can't turn invisible either, so I can't really rely on that either. I mean, not that I was really using that cloak very much previously now, was I, so... That is weird. I think I think that's just a signal that shows where the enemy is in the other time. I think I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But there's were like blips of light where those turrets were. Ow! Ooh! How do I... How do I get in there? What the... No! That's the gun I meant to take, but how do I get in there? It's weird. There's a pilot helmet right there, but there's like... No way to get in. I don't get it. Is there a button to lower that thing? Like maybe inside this... Uh, maybe inside this turret station? Nope, not that one. Well, let's give it a go. I mean, it's magnetic, so... Nope, that's just a... Huh, this is weird. This is weird, because... I certainly put a lot of holes in it, and I threw a freaking satchel at it, but that did not work, so... I don't know. I don't... no clue. What the... what is this? Uh, that must be, like, liquid nitrogen or something, something cold. I do not want to go down there. I do not. 
Okay. Oh, hey there. Nice and shiny. That's the way we like it. Oh, that's tricky. I thought there was a glass there. <laughs> oh, I see. We need to change time midair. Clever. That's cool. I see. Which is what we also need to do right about here, I believe. Nope! Uh... Hmm. Well then... Well, we picked up the helmet from there, so everything's good. I... This is way more tricky than the freaking one in Dishonored. That was just like... Avoiding enemies using the time switch, like... I didn't need to worry about freaking parkouring myself. Oh, that was fun. Be while running around this circle. That was that was kind of fun. Oh god. Yeah, let's not. Yeah. We're going to hack him. That didn't quite work out. Damn. Let's get up here, why don't we? Ooh, another logbook. Oh, I see what I need to do. Here we go. Hey, that was cool. Um, oh, this this looks tough. Hold on. Oh my, oh my goodness. I know what I need to do, but this is an insane. Okay. Okay, I missed that helmet, but like, what are you gonna do? Oh, oh wow, that is gonna be such a hard. That is a really hard segment to do. Holy moly. I need to do for freaking wall jumping wall. Okay. Okay, just double jumping lets me keep the uh, altitude I need. Good. Ah! <sighs> I thought I thought it was way more to the front. What the? Okay, that's not fun. It spawned me in the freaking fire. What the? Now where am I? Oh, I'm in this time. Okay. Ah, so close. Ugh, okay, I shouldn't get the pilot helmet. I just was like... Ah! <laughs> the fact that it spawns you in the regular time where the thing is on fire is really annoying. <laughs> okay, one more time. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, I could just do that, but, you know, I... Yes, got it! Sick! Oh, freaking... I'll get on it. Uh... Oh, no... Oh dear, it's all electrified in modern day as well. Whoa, that was... Ooh. Okay, I can do this. I don't need the ghost there. Right, I need to jump between walls. I knew that, I was just testing you. This is one of the craziest levels. Like... Now I see why everyone's so gaga for the single-player campaign of this this game. This is one of the craziest levels I've ever played in a game. And I did do the whole mansion where you switch between time in... Um, 
twin fire sniper rifle groovy in in dishonor 2 so like the concept of switching between times is not entirely alien to me especially because it's kind of the same as in games where you like switch between like two worlds it's not that divorced from that but combined with this parkour nuttiness uh my my kind of my head's kind of exploding here right now Looks like we weren't too creative either, dude. Just kind of stuck there. Okay, I think I need. To, I know what I need to do. I need to drop him to that. Well, it was a good attempt, but I need to get uh, drops a little more before I uh, before I activate the chronometer. Ah! <laughs> Let's try that one again, shall we? <laughs> this this freaking level. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that's a great. That's cool. Okay, this time. Uh, uh, no. Like a glove. They were targeting this planet's moon as a test. This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony, and they moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. Certainly sounds dramatic. Uh oh. Oh shit, come on Anderson, you got him! Freaking... Oh, nice moves! That was Major Anderson's final recording. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. Wow, I think that's when his glove thing activated. That's why the guy went flying. Interesting. So, I guess... Proximity to this thing is what kicked that thing off. But how did Briggs know to give Cooper... No, not Cooper. Give Anderson the the glove thing. If um, if it didn't do that before. Mysterious. I would like to time today to talk about the value of human life. There is no value to human life. Oh, well, kind of what I expected from now you. I have your attention. To be more precise, human life to a certain limit is expendable. Boom lay, boom lay, boom. Yet self destructive, adaptable yet flawed, and always, always resource intensive. Wow, he's starting to. He's starting to sound like a proper, like, freaking. An anime villain here. This world is impure. Responsible to say that all individuals on such worlds are actually indispensable. Oof. Millions of humans die across the colonized world every day. This is some supervillain shit coming out of this guy right Human now. Life is expendable. Now our problem is twofold. On the one hand, we are faced with a hostile frontier populace opposed to our commercial pursuits for the greater good. On the other hand, there is a never-ending cry for natural resources, demanded of us by the greater populations of the core systems. We must have order on the frontier if we are to achieve true progress. Mm. But the militia, in its provincial myopic lack of vision, refuses to accept this. Thus, we are at war. Now the bitter truth. Reinforcements from the core systems will not arrive for several more years. The militia gain strength day by day, taking back one planet after another. Hmm. Our choices are limited. Drastic action must be taken. Fascinating, so... Again, I remind you all of one simple truth. That human life is abundant. We, the militia, were like the frontier guard. 
And the IMC General Martyr here was like more like the the homeland guy, but he went a bit gloopy. Oh my god, this guy's recording just keeps going on. I just thought it would be a couple of lines of dialogue, but... Oh, I just realized. The weapon's not those rings, it's that little blob in the middle of the rings. And they must have taken that thing. They must have taken that the little gem from the middle of those spinny rings. And so they do have that weapon still with them, I think. Oh shit, there's like actual real life physics. To some extent. And every living thing we target, resulting in total loss of life. But lest we lose sight of the bigger picture, remember those losses are ultimately replaceable by the inexorable march of human reproduction. By decisively neutralizing the militia. Oh, this is like that. This is the speech that he held in that chamber, but we're like getting the whole version now. Okay. Well, goddamn, the straight stakes just went up like 200 fold, didn't they? Um, I cannot believe how crazy this game is getting, but I sure look forward to the next episode. I hope you look forward to it too. Catch you then, guys. Goodbye!